All right, this is why we always more Black Mesa slash Half-Life. Only main difference is there are some enemies added to Black Mesa. And there's a room we'll be coming up to. So, here's the room. It just has some ammunition and some health. Nothing else. I think it's just there to counter for the extra enemies to make it all equal out. Anyways, moving on, we'll go see the guy who we saw before who's almost dead. What he does is also different. I'm, I'm never gonna make it. You better go on without me. I'll just slow you down. Don't wanna jump the gun or nothing, but looks like you can handle this one yourself. Now, one thing that's weird is sometimes his scripting will say a line that says, I'll turn the the, the, the rail for you. This time, he just didn't, so it's, I don't know why. Anyways, you have to hit that button to activate a security door over here. Uh, there's no security door in Half-Life. Just Black Mesa. Half-Life, you could go to this area whenever you wanted. So over here, we have this area where we're going to electrocute him. you got to plug these plugs in first, though, in Black Mesa, which also gets you burnt up a bit. But after that, you hit a button, and zap. This whole area is just total redesigned. Like, it's the only, you know, this is a whole redesigned area. The only similarity is you electrocute that guy. So I'm just going to let this music play for a bit. Okay, so in here you have the choice between two carts instead of just the one. Or trams, I guess. And then, this should rotate on its own, see? Half-Life, you gotta run all the way back up there to the top of things and reactivate it you're on your own. Or re-rotate this thing on your own and stuff. Which is just a pain in the ass. Additionally, Half-Life, you kind of plow through something right here. Uh, Black Mesa, it's just the door opens when the guy rotates it. So this is different too. Hey, it's Freeman, right? Hold up a sec. One of your scientist pals said they give you a message. Uh, you're supposed to take this old rail system up to some sort of satellite delivery rocket or something. I don't know where it is exactly. The old guy was so worried about getting out alive he didn't think to stop and tell me. Anyway, th the main thing is, the military aborted the launch. So when you find the rocket, well, if you find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Now, get going. I'm going to stick around and help any other stragglers. Okay. So, you should hit the button. Uh, in Half-Life, you have to hit the button on your own. Uh, but the button's in a different location, and there's no room back there. Small differences. And also, Half-Life, there are enemies on the ceiling trying to eat your face. None in Black Mesa. And this is going to be a short one. Last one I said was, like, these are, you know, these are, like, eight minutes is a long one just because how much editing goes into each one. So, last one was long. This one's going to be short. So, until next time, this is YBR. See ya.